Welcome to the John Deere Adjustable Auger Spout Combine Precision Upgrade Kit video. This video shows specific instructions for S780 and S790 series combines, but this kit can be installed on S760 and S770 series combines as well. The technology is integrated into the command center system and is adjustable from the multifunction control lever inside the cab. The adjustable logger spout features three presets along with the ability to manually adjust the spout angle during unload. Refer to the operator's manual in bundle 45877 for operating instructions. To begin, locate bundle 45902, the spout and cross auger controller. Locate part A, the bracket, part B, the screws, and part C, the nuts. To begin installation, open the left-hand side panel of the combine. If you already have a controller installed, remove it from the plate. With the arrow pointing upwards, assemble the bracket as shown. Next, locate part A, the vehicle controller, part B, the screws, and part C, the nuts. Install the controller to the support bracket. Next, locate bundle 45905, the adjustable spout mechanicals. First, remove the camera and light harnesses from the unloading tube. Second, Loosen the hardware and slide the camera and light assembly about 18 inches from the spout. Third, remove nuts, washers, and the original spout. Fourth, carefully release the spring. Remove the cotter pin, washer, and slide the pin out to remove the dribble door. Be sure to save all hardware for reassembly. Find part AXE 84179, the door. Install the dribble door using the pin, spring, washer, and cotter pin. Find part HXE 169395, the boot. Assemble using the previously saved hardware. Next, locate part A, the long straight bracket, part B, the curved bracket, part C, the hinge, part D, the nuts, part E, the bushings, and part F, the screws. Loosely assemble the brackets around the tube to allow for position adjustment. Slide the collar assembly toward the end of the auger tube as shown in box 1. Tighten the collar hardware as shown in box 2. Next, find part A, the bracket, part B, the other bracket, part C, the nuts, part D, the bushings, and part E, the screws. Align collar brackets A and B with the alignment strip from the hinge collar. Install screws, bushings, and tighten nuts. Next, locate part A, the active spout. Find part B, the washers, part C, the other washers, part D, the screws, part E, the flange nuts. Assemble the active spout hinge bracket to the hinge collar and tighten the nuts. Locate bundle 45904, the base harness for S780 and S790 series combines. For S760 and S770, the base harness parts are found in bundle 45903. First, with the left side panel of the combine open, disconnect the LC1, LC2, and right main harness. Second, remove the bracket and its hardware. Find part A, the bracket, part B, the heavy duty clamps, and part C, the screws. Install the new bracket, screws, and clamps at the location of the previously removed bracket. Connect the LC1 and right main harness connectors to the original positions. Prepare to move the two LC2 connectors to the two outward holes, but don't connect them yet. Next, locate part AXE 99895, the wiring harness. Using heavy duty clamps to route the harness, connect bubble 2 and 1 with LC1 connectors. Connect bubble 4 and 3 with LC2 connectors. Next, locate part A, the screws, and part B, the nuts. Attach fuse block to bracket using screws and nuts as shown. Clip the adjustable spout interconnect and cross auger shutoff interconnect to bracket as shown. Find the 20 tie bands. Route the base harness to the battery and controller following the LC2 harness. Use zip ties to secure the base harness. Connect the base harness power to the battery. Connect chassis ground to the upper ground point and electronic ground to the lower ground point. Connect the three base harness connectors to their respective ports on the vehicle controller. Next, locate bundle 45906, the adjustable spout actuator. Locate part A, the actuator. Make sure the holes are a maximum distance of 22 inches apart. Before installing, make sure the holes are horizontally aligned. Rotate rod clockwise until holes are aligned correctly. Locate part B, the pins, and part C, the spring locking pins. Position the motor toward the aligning strip. 
Assemble actuator rear base to the welded collar and the rod end to the active spout welded base. Use pins and spring locking pins to secure both ends of the actuator. Check the camera image. Slide the camera and light toward the auger boot until the spout exit is just visible. Tighten nuts to secure. Next, locate bundle 45907, the spout harness. Find part A, the wiring harness, part B, the clamp, and part C, the tie bands. Connect actuator to the boot actuator harness connection. Route the harness along the unloading tube using retention points installed. Follow the harness to the turret housing, secure it to the hydraulic hoses using tie bands, and route to the inline harness bracket area. Remove cap from adjustable spout interconnect on the base harness and connect the adjustable spout main from the actuator harness. Insert the clips into bracket holes. Locate the P-clamps. Secure the harness using the P-clamps at the greased line clamp and hydraulic line clamp locations as shown. For the best customer experience, the adjustable auger spout and cross auger shutoff combination kit is recommended. The combine upgrade package contains all parts for both features, giving the customer the ability to accurately put the grain in the right spot and empty the full unloading auger. Thank you for watching.